right, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for watching this video this week. Top 10 health facts. This week we're going to do something a little different. We've been recently focusing on foods and within your diet, um, spices and herbs also. Um, but this week we're going to talk about apps, diet apps. Apps nowadays make things much easier when dieting as far as tracking your food and nutrition, even your activity. So I went through a whole bunch of them. There's a lot of them out there, but I picked 10 that seem to be the best. So that's what I'll be doing. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Without further ado though, let's get to the top 10, top 10 dieting apps. Number 10, the chronometer. This is a weight loss app that allows you to track nutrition, fitness, and health data. It's got an extensive calorie counting feature along with a database of over 300,000 food items. It also has a barcode scanner um, where you can record foods by scanning the barcode. It also um, helps you obtain optimal nutrient intake while keeping your calorie intake under control. It is a, it's got a feature called Snapshots where you can upload photos of yourself, of your body throughout your weight loss journey, um, tra track your progress through photos. It also can estimate your body fat percentage. It does have a pro version, but that's for um, dietitians, nutritionists, and health coaches for, them, for their use. Um, it's free to download, but in order to unlock all of its features, you'll need to upgrade your subscription. So it looks like gold. Anyway, that's number 10. That's the Chronometer app. Number nine, the Fitbit. The, Fitbit are, the Fitbits are popular wearable devices that measure your activity level throughout the day. Um, they can record your number of steps taken, miles walked. They can also measure your heart rate as well. It gives you um, access to the Fitbit app, which is where all your physical activity is synced. You also keep track of your food, your calorie, and water intake, as well as your sleep habits and your weight loss goals and progress. It has strong community community features. It allows you to connect with other users, friends, or family who may use the Fitbit. You can participate in you can participate in various challenges with them and share your progress if you, if you choose to do so. Depending on which Fitbit you have, you can set alarms as reminders when, as to when to get up and exercise, and it'll send you notifications to your phone to tell you how close you are to your fitness goals for the day. It's a very popular, like I said, Fitbit, they're, they're pretty popular. They've been around for a little while, and but the, the subscriptions, they can be a little pricey, so you might want to just kind of check in to see how it fits into you, your life, and if it's worth it. Number eight, zero, the Zero app. This app is kind of focuses on fasting, intermittent fasting. Um, I mentioned that a few weeks ago in one of my um, diet trends video. Um, but when done correctly, um, intermittent fasting is a good weight loss plan. This app helps you keep track of your fasting plan. It counts down the minutes until your next meal, and it shows you other people who are who are also doing this along with you. It has about it looks like it's got 4.9 or 4.8 stars on the App Store and the Google Play Store, so it looks like it's pretty well respected. But this app, if you're doing intermittent fasting, is probably the best one for that particular diet. Um, so. That's the Zero app. That's um, number eight. Number seven, Noon. You've probably seen them commercials for Noon. They play them quite frequently. Um, this app assigns a daily calorie budget based on your answers to um, the questions they ask for your certain lifestyle and health related questions, as well as your current weight, height, gender, and weight loss goals. This app also allows users to log in their weight, their exercise, and other important indicators of health, such as blood sugar, blood sugar levels. It, often, it off, offers virtual health, health coaching during working hours and teaches useful, helpful tools like mindful eating practices, and it offers motivational reading and quizzes that are meant to be completed daily. This app is pretty good, but it does have a subscription um, involved, so you might want to check on that and see if it's something worth your wallet. Number six, My Net, Di My Net Diary. My Net Diary is a user-friendly calorie counting app that has many features for weight loss and for healthy habits. It consists of a personalized daily calorie budget that tracks calorie consumption, nutrition, and weight loss progress. It has over 845,000 verified foods 
but if you include user added items, which are ones that you manually put in, you could have access to probably over a million different foods. It also has charts, reports, and stats that help you visualize your meals, nutrients, calories, and your, your products. It also has a barcode to scan nutritional facts. It's free to download, but like most of these apps, there are monthly and annual subscriptions, so you might want to check into that to see how much it is for you. Number five, WW, which is formerly known as Weight Watchers. Um, this is an old diet, I remember that one long ago. But WW is a point-based program that assigns certain foods an amount of points. The user individually will have a certain amount of points they can use daily and logs them accordingly. It traditionally has in-person meetings, but now it has a program that is completely digital through the app. It also has a barcode to scan, making it easier to log each meal and figure out how many points each item is. It does have an activity tracker, it has weekly workshops, social networking, and a rewards system, and 24-7 live coaching. This app, um, it does have a subscription in order to access most of its features. So you would need to look into that and see if it would be worth it for you. Number four, Feeducate, like educate, but few food, Feeducate. This is a nutritional scanner that allows users to scan barcodes and receive detailed nutritional facts and ingredients for different foods. It's really helpful when selecting foods and ingredients while grocery shopping. It also notifies users of unhealthy ingredients that are often hidden in foods such as trans fat and high fructose corn syrup. It also gives you a list of healthier options that detects unhealthy ingredients in one that you scan. For example, if you scan, if you scan a flavored yogurt that has a lot of added sugars, it will show you a healthier alternative. This app is free, but there are costs for upgrades. Number three, Fat Secret. This app focuses a lot on the support system, which is important for many who struggle with weight. You can log your food intake, monitor your weight loss progress or struggles, and interact with other users throughout the community chat feature. You can join certain groups with those that have similar goals or, or struggles. It also has a professional tool that allows you to share food intake, workouts, and weight loss data in progress with your preferred health care providers. It's a free download, downloadable app, but subscription fees or upgrades are available for more features. Number two, the Lose It app. This app is one that emphasizes goal setting, which is vital in a weight loss plan. It uses an analysis of your weight, age, and health goals to come up with your daily calorie needs and personalized weight loss plan. This makes it easier for you to log in your daily food intake. It also has a bar, barcode scanner to scan food within its vast database. One of its best features, though, is that it's got a Snap It feature that takes pictures of the meals you eat and portion, size, and portion sizes, and it records them. It's available for both Apple and Android, and it's free to download, but it does have a yearly subscription for more features. Number one, My Fitness Pal. This app, this app allows you to pair your workouts with a nutritional plan. It has a barcode scanner that scans what you eat throughout the day and provides the nutritional values. According to Prevention and Healthline, it has a database of different foods ranging from 6 million to 11 million. Basically, it gives you a full picture of your overall health if everything is logged consistently and correctly. It also allows you to connect with the community for support with other users. It's available both Apple and Android, and it's free, of course, to download, but as all these apps, most of them have, they have upgrades, but you have to pay for these subscription to get these upgrades. All right, everybody, thank you for watching the video. We've made it to the end of the top 10 apps for health and diets. Um, hopefully you found at least one that will be help helpful for you that you can maybe download, maybe try them free and then maybe they help you can use a subscription so you can get more of the features but anyway i do appreciate that you watching this video and taking the time and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can get notified each time one of our videos are published again thank you so much until next time stay healthy